Welcome to Easy A Homeschool Academy. Let's learn about the five senses. Imagine you're on a grand adventure exploring the world around you. To help you on this journey, you have five amazing superpowers known as the five senses. These superpowers are sight, hearing, taste, smell, and touch. Each one helps you understand and interact with your surroundings in a unique way. First, there's the power of sight, which lets you see everything around you. With your eyes, you can admire the colors of the rainbow, watch a butterfly flutter by, and read your favorite books. Your eyes send these images to your brain, which helps you understand what you're seeing. From the minute you wake up in the morning, until the time you go to bed at night, your eye is taking in information and processing it in the brain. When you look at an object, what you are actually seeing is the light that bounces off that object and into your eyes. The light enters your eye through the cornea, a clear protective covering, through the pupil, which adjusts to become larger or smaller depending on the amount of light in the room, thanks to the colored part of the eye known as the iris, and into the lens. The lens changes shape to help you focus on whatever you're looking at. If you're looking at something very close to you, the lens will become thicker. However, if you are looking at something very far away, the lens will stretch and thin out, allowing you to focus on the object. Next, the light travels through the vitreous humor a jelly-like substance, to the back of the eye called the retina. From the retina, information is sent to the brain through the optic nerve for interpretation. Interestingly enough, when the information is first passed through the eye, it is presented upside down. It is the job of the brain to turn the image right side up and to tell you what you're seeing. Our incredible bodies have built-in features to protect the eyes. Eyebrows block sweat from getting into the eyes. Eyelashes keep dust and other small particles from getting into the eye. Eyelids cover the eyes and protect them from bright lights and sunlight. Your eyes are constantly being cleaned with tears when you blink, keeping them clean and moist. Our sense of sight is just one way we are able to navigate in and engage with our surroundings. Next, you have the power of hearing. Your ears pick up all sorts of sounds from the chirping of birds to the laughter of your friends. Your brain then translates these sounds so you know what you're hearing. When an object makes a noise, it sends vibrations through the air. The vibrations are known as sound waves. Your ear is responsible for funneling the sounds in our environment. Sound waves enter the ear through the outer ear, into the ear canal, and into the middle ear where the waves will hit the eardrum, causing it to vibrate. These vibrations pass the sound to the three bones of the inner ear. The vibrations continue to move through to the cochlea, Information in the sound waves is then passed through to the auditory nerve into the brain for interpretation. Our sense of hearing is another important tool that we use to navigate in our world. You also have the power of taste. Your tongue has taste buds that let you enjoy a variety of flavors, from the sweetness of chocolate to the sourness of lemon. Your brain helps you recognize and savor these tastes. There are five main taste sensations. Sweet, salty, sour, bitter, and umami. Most of the taste receptors in the body are found on the surface of the tongue and along the soft palate in the mouth. Your sense of taste and your sense of smell are linked and often when you interpret something as tasting good, it is because it also smells good. The sweet taste sensation is often associated with sugary foods like candy and fruits. 
The sour taste sensation is typically found in acidic foods like lemons and vinegar. The salty taste sensation comes from foods that contain salt, like pretzels and chips. The bitter taste sensation is often found in foods like dark chocolate and certain vegetables. The umami taste sensation, often described as savory or meaty, is found in foods like soy sauce, mushrooms, and aged cheese. These taste sensations help us enjoy a wide variety of flavors in our food. Then there's the power of smell. With your nose, you can detect different scents, like the sweet aroma of flowers or the delicious smell of cookies baking in the oven. Your brain helps you identify these smells and connect them to memories and feelings. Your sense of smell and your sense of taste are directly linked. When you are tasting food, that process starts when the nose picks up scents from the environment. When a scent enters the nostrils, it travels through the nasal canal to the olfactory epithelium of the nose. The nerve cells in this region can detect smell and are connected to the olfactory nerve which are connected to the olfactory cortex in the brain. Olfaction relates to anything having to do with the sense of smell. Your sense of smell helps you to process the pleasant and unpleasant smells in the environment. Finally, there's the power of touch. Your skin is covered in tiny sensors that let you feel the world around you. Whether it's the softness of a kitten's fur, the coolness of a breeze, or the warmth of the sun, your skin sends these sensations to your brain, helping you understand and respond to them. Your skin is the largest sensory organ in your body. There are four main types of receptors. Mechanoreceptors detect mechanical pressure or distortion. Thermoreceptors detect changes in temperature. Nociceptors detect pain from damage or potential damage to the skin. Proprioceptors provide information about the position and movement of our body parts. Pain receptors, which are a type of nociceptors, are highly important as they help to keep our bodies safe. Pain receptors are responsible for communicating with the brain, which is why we move our hands away when touching a hot stove. There are varying amounts of receptors all over the body. The more receptors that can be found in an area, the more sensitive that area of the body will be. Some of the most sensitive parts of the body include the tongue, lips, face, neck, hands, and feet, while the least sensitive areas include the back. We rely on our sense of touch to perceive and respond to stimuli, allowing us to interact safely and effectively in our environment. The five senses, sight, hearing, smell, taste, and touch are crucial for perceiving and interacting with the world around us. Sight allows us to see and interpret visual information through our eyes. Hearing enables us to detect sounds and communicate through our ears. Smell and taste work together to help us enjoy flavors and detect potentially harmful substances with the nose identifying scents and the tongue detecting tastes. Touch, sensed through the skin, allows us to feel physical sensations, providing important feedback for safety and comfort. Together, these senses help us navigate, understand, and enjoy our environment. I hope you learned something about our five senses today. Thanks for taking this learning journey with me. Until next time. As always, thank you for watching. Tell us what you want to see next. Email easy a 
homeschoolacademy at yahoo.com. Like and share our videos. Please subscribe to our channel.